Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my first video on YouTube, and today I'm going to be reviewing Money Monster, and Money Monster is a guy who basically lost all of his money, and wants to find out answers, so what do you do when you do that? Let's think for a moment. Oh yes, if you go onto a TV show, hold the presenter and, be and the crew hostage, and then demand for answers. Great job. But the movie itself was one of my favourites I think I've ever seen. And I have to say, I believe that Jack O'Connell, who played the person who um, took everyone hostage, should um, at least be considered nominated and even, in my opinion, so far, win it. And I don't care if, basically, this guy comes out with people say better than any of Leonardo DiCaprio's performances or anything that's ever happened before, he has got to win it. Because, to me, he is a man. He, um, to me, beats Heath Ledger's The Dark Knight uh, performance, which you all know is notoriously incredible. Because he just goes ape shit. That's it. That is the beauty of it. George Clooney as well, with another incredible performance himself, as playing the host of this show, who basically recommends um, stock. So he's a stock advisor on a TV show called Money Monster, hence the name. And um, you see a um, change in his character from the beginning to the end, and it sort of develops later, where he actually starts to like this guy, um, mainly because he bodyguards him. But anyway, uh, don't worry about that. So basically, if this film will only suffer from bad marketing, and I'm going to say this, from where I live, there wasn't much at all, I couldn't really, there was no posters, I mean, Me Before You, which is coming up very soon here, um, it's a romantic film, not really sort of my style of film, it's got good cast though, has got more marketing, and to me, coming from the trailers at least, which is what I'm going to compare it to, so I haven't seen Me Before You, My New Monster was better, and I, I have to admit that I don't know what happens, whether there's more in other countries like the States or whatever, but where I'm from there wasn't much marketing which means I mean in the cinema where I was there was like 10 people came to see it and this is a brand new release and this film deserves a lot more because it was that good. Jodie Foster with an absolute incredible directing. Julia Roberts also with um, amazing Acting, uh, I, I don't know her name, um, but the girlfriend of the of Jack O'Connell's character was absolutely sublime. Even though she was barely featured in it, what she did in that film created a massive impact and was just amazing. Um, I found that. What really made me captivated was the story of it. Uh, the story was really good, really thought out. There wasn't anything um, that I can say was bad. I feel like it was pretty much flawless. Um, the only that I say it's flawless. The only problem I have it is it's just the cliche of. John, um, George Clooney's character as he changes, um, which isn't bad, his change, you know, isn't something that people say that's going to ruin the film. It's just maybe they didn't do it in the right way. You know what I mean? But as a throughout most of the film, you see him as this uh, not very nice person. Um, you know, he, he thinks he knows everything. Well, he, he does, he's very well. But when he realises he's wrong, uh, he's, you know, he just tries to keep it as a show. 
Which I guess you kind of need to when you're in that situation. Not that I've ever been in it. Um, but I'm going to continue and say that it just would have been nice if he'd kept it. Now, because to me, most of the film I didn't like this guy. I mean, when this guy comes in, this isn't a spoiler, it's in the trailer, it says, is this a union thing? He, d he doesn't take into things that maybe you made a bit of a mistake, you know? And, but then at the end he's like, oh no, I did everything wrong. Uh, so, that's, that's the real problem I have with that. Um, Good no onto a good thing was you never thought in this situation there would be humour. And there was oh by the way it's um sorry. It's Emily Mead who is the girlfriend. I've just looked this up. Um I'm just I'm just double checking. It definitely is. Um and It doesn't have anything. I'm just gonna... Don't worry about that. So basically, uh, the... Um, well, the humour, yeah. So the humour was very, very good. And you would have thought in a film like this, this guy's breaking in, he's losing his shit. Why would you have humour? But the humour was well placed. They didn't need humour. It wasn't necessary, but it really helps with the character of... Lee Gates, because I said you're not supposed to like him. He's making a joke of it. He's not thinking anything. This is a horrible situation. He ends up doing it, but that's mainly to save his skin. He's makes jokes. I think um, Jack O'Connell's character um, as well, Kyle, he makes jokes. They're making fun. Well, they're not making fun, but it's the contrast between each other. They're trying to take the mick out of each other. I have to... Um, which is very interesting if you think about it in the dynamics of that. If you're in that situation where, let's say, you're trying to find answers, would you be trying to take the mick out of the, your hostage? Or if you're being taken hostage, would you take the mick out of a guy with a gun? Chances are not really. Which that's what was the main interest to me. Also, um,. Another interesting was the uh, police people. It didn't glorify the police. It didn't shun away the police. It says that this is what they feel like they need to do. I mean, there was the negotiator. He was an absolute dimwit. That's what I'm going to go with, dimwit. Um, but, you know, it added something. It wasn't like, oh, we're supposed to hit the He added, it, made, it did make the other cops look better, or the main one. But they they didn't have anything wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. It's what they have to go through. So it's a hostage situation. That's the protocol. I understand that. Um, but you don't like them for what they're doing. Um, it's, you know, you, you never want to see what they do do happen. I'm not saying what they did was bad again. But, you know, you don't really even want to see the situation where this is happening. And... Overall, out of 10, I'm going to give Money Monster a 10, and I'm going to call this Jack O'Connell Oscar, at least Oscar nomination. And if he doesn't, that is a steal. Jack O'Connell, um, people have probably seen him in Broken, and this, if they see it, I've seen him in um, films like United, I've seen him in films Stead Up 71, he's a top actor, and this is his main breakthrough, I mean, he's, he's been circulating, um, but, you know, he hasn't really been shown as to be a top class actor, this is what he's shown, he's proven to everyone, all his doubters, every single person, this is what he is made for, thank you ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say, this is a 10 out of 10 must see film, thank you very much.